What's up, boys? And we are back. As y'all read the title and description, we are just doing a build list. I'm just like going over the, the build list because um, a lot of y'all in the comments asking what's done to the car, what's in the car, this, that, the third, what cams I got, etc., etc. So I just decided to make this video and give y'all in depth of what's actually done to the car because I know I've gained so many new supporters and subscribers since the last time i made this video and also last time i made this video was like four or five months ago and i was only making 200 horsepower standing in the shade right now because man, it is freaking hot out here it's like 90 degrees and so if y'all see me sweating psst, right that's why because it's, it's hot bro it's just hot like it's really hot outside but i am ready to give y'all the full breakdown of this build again for the people who've been watching me and for the ones who haven't this is very new to y'all so i'm gonna get started with the gsr head it has super tech valves super tech dual valve springs titanium retainers super tech lmas and it does have Skunk 2 Pro 1s for people in the comments telling me I should get 202s and 203s and Skunk 2 Pro 1s. Um, I don't really know if the 202s and 203s are better for all motor. I know they're really good for like turbo cars, but I feel like I went with the Pro 1s because I felt like those were the best all motor cams you can get and so did multiple other people. So that's why I have Skunk 2 Pro 1s and I paid almost a thousand dollars for them because they're really good cams. I was told and I did gain literally 20 horsepower off the cams and I did not degree them at all. So I feel like if I degree them too, I can gain actually about 5, 10 horsepower. But they're not degreed right now and I gained 20 horsepower just off dropping them in from my stock GSR cams. It's a B20 block with 11.5 to 1 uh, compression with 84.5 millimeter piston. It has CTR style pistons. ARP rod bolts, Skunk 2 Ultra intake manifold, y'all see that? And we have a 74 millimeter block throttle body. And then add the 1320 performance side exit, y'all see this? They do not make them anymore. Mine is ceramic coated because that looks so good. Plus it helps with the temps. Um, we have a thousand cc FIC injectors in there with a V16 trans. Some of y'all know my trans is kind of messed up because the third won't go in at high rpms so i'm gonna have to get it rebuilt again but this time i'm gonna just get gears and the synchros and hopefully that fixes the problem for real, for real. The car is on e85 most of y'all already knew that and um yeah that is really it for the whole build there's really i mean not the whole but like just the motor rise part that's it i mean we got a little small stuff we got a little dresser bolt uh radi uh, upgraded radiator uh I don't think I went over this actually. This is a custom made uh, intake mount. I said intake mount. It's a custom made intake. It's a three to 3.5 to a four inch intake. The guy who made this for me does not make anything for anybody anymore. So I know I see a lot of y'all in the comments asking where I got it from, but he does not really make stuff anymore for anybody because everybody was complaining about his prices. But I mean, he does really good work. This, was, uh, this intake was literally the first mod I ever got on my car. Before I had this motor, I had a B16, a stock B16 in here with the side exit. And that's kind of how like, I kind of started this content stuff because um, I had the side exit and it was a B16, literally stock motor B16 with an intake and a side exit. And yeah, everybody went crazy over that thing, no cap. Now I'm sitting here with a built B20V and trying to dog y'all turbo boys out, no cap. Also, Everybody keeps asking in the comments who I'm tuned by. For the people in like RVA, uh, I get tuned by Matt Russell. He's a really good tuner. He's the guy I've been going to like literally since I started this build back when I had a stock B16. He's been my tuner ever since then. I haven't went to nobody else. Um, 
yeah that's really the shop i go to he used to do like literally all my work like even the smallest things like put my new shifter in so um i really like him he hasn't gave me any problems the tunes are and also i know somebody did ask about my wide band it does not work i don't know why uh this is the second one that we put in here but i guess i gotta order a new one or i think i can get them from AutoZone or something but this time I'm gonna route it through the fender like I did my wire tuck because I hate this one wire just going to the back like that. It kind of throws off and it looks very tacky. The back is all crazy back here because I really can't do nothing about that. I ain't gonna lie. But I know when I do get the ultra race with that spacer, I am gonna have to relocate my um, fuel filter. So that's gonna be something. And I'll probably have to relocate this because everything's gonna be pushed back. The intake's gonna be more out, which would probably be good because the air will be coming from here now because the intake, I don't know, I don't know. but. Hey, we got some plans. But like I said, I do want to get this thing right cosmetically because like the only thing I've done cosmetically for real, for real is do the coupe front end or the hatch front end, coupe front end. Because the front end on these freaking um, four doors are so hideous. Like this car, oh my God, they're so hideous. I, there's nothing to like even, no, it's just hideous. But y'all know this car is gutted and um, we got some integrity seats in here from my brother's tag. Um, yeah looking good looking nice everybody says i should go black interior i don't know i kind of like the tan interior but black interior would be tight nice i ain't gonna lie black interior would be nice but y'all know the full breakdown of this car now and the idea i want to go with now i kind of like i've been saying the mag blue wheels i've just never gotten around to it because i'm so stuck on this motor it's like they weren't lying like once you get like a feel for it and you you want more you just keep wanting more and more because like the, the start of this was i just wanted to make 200 now I'm over here trying to stretch for a little bit more power each and every time. And yeah, it's getting addicting. And I know for the price of it, I'm ready to spend. I can just go all uh, turbo and get crazy and make 500 horsepower. But at the same time, I just, I like the challenge. I like to, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's hard to build a, a respectable all motor car. So I'm up, I'm up for the challenge. I'm trying to get this thing dialed in. I'm trying to make a little bit more each power every time I go back and get tuned. And, um, like I said, I guess I'm gonna have to go with the Skunk 2 Ultra Race Manifold this time because this one is not it. Um, this is the street. And like I said, they only have a small spacer for the race. They have a big spacer. And then I'm gonna go ahead and get a 90 mil throttle body. So like I said, if y'all are interested in literally a brand new um, intake manifold with a 74 millimeter throttle body, y'all hit me up on IG or something. And um, I can give y'all a deal for real, for real and I'll go ahead and buy me a ultra race and put like a 90 mil and hopefully that'll give me like the 250 range. Also, these cams are not degreed. So if I degree them too, that's another like five, 10 horsepower. So who knows what power we can be making by then. The bottom end might go to be honest, but I'll be happy if it makes that power to be honest. And we just have to keep building this thing for a row because I do have a lot planned for this car and I don't know some at some point i am gonna have to get dialed in with the um cosmetic part of this car because i do want to have this thing sitting right uh, i love these rpf wheels i, I don't know if y'all know that i love these wheels my brother gave them to me and um i've never wanted to change them i did want to put some cozy on here but the cozy didn't just they didn't look right on here so i want to go ahead and paint these mag blue i know i've been saying that but i've just been stuck on the motor because i've just really been trying to get the motor right and i've been trying i've been itching for more power every time and i Paint a mag blue with some like like meaty middles or something. Some like clean fitment though. And then I think I do want to paint these fenders white and um, have the car all one color because I feel like that thing is going to look so good. And it's just going to be a bad little all motor car, man. Bad little thing. But today's video is effectively over. I know it's nothing excited, but for you new people that was watching, I hope y'all did enjoy the build breakdown of this list. And um, as always, I love the support and thank y'all so much for liking and subscribing and commenting and interacting with all my videos. You guys are amazing and I appreciate y'all. More racing videos are definitely coming up soon. I lost my 360, so I gotta buy a new one. It was actually my brother, so I gotta buy him a new one. But as always, I'll see y'all in the next one. There you go, did it? Little chop in that joint. You see that? Look at that thing. She chopping too. Look at her. Sound good.
walk around. Y'all already seen this car. I look you kind of hate that I cut up the bumper now, but that's whatever. Let's drag, I guess, right? Four walk around. Y'all seen it, though. That's really dirty, though. The car is mad dirty. I, I feel like every time I choose to, like, film, um, my car is very dirty. And I, I hate that, but, you know what I'm saying? Just, I picked the worst time to film. Like, I go wash my car, and I'll take a couple of reels for, like, Instagram and stuff. And I won't make a YouTube video, and I'll let my car sit for like a week and stuff, and then it's just very dirty. And then when I go make a YouTube video, the car is looking crazy, like it's, it looks so dirty. But I mean, she still seems pretty though. I don't know how y'all hate the photo. The only thing I can say is with the, uh, the, the bumpers. The photo bumpers are absolutely hideous. But like, the only thing is, the fitment on this hood is kind of like. Right now, though, man. This is a muscle truck. And these tires are so tall, so I can't 